Hello everyone, it's Rachel here at Clarty Hands Crafts and today I am making a window flap pocket from an envelope. You can do this with a used envelope or a new one like I'm going to do today. The first thing I need to do is measure the size of the window that I need to make. I'm gauging this by the size of the picture that I want to be visible through the window. To make a snug fit it's best to make the window slightly smaller than the image so I made a template from a scrap of card so that I could draw around it after I decided on the right placement. You will need a sealed envelope to do this project so if it's a new one that you're using you can go ahead and seal it up now. If you are reusing an old one then you can skip this step and move on to the next one which is to cut the edge off to create an opening. On a used envelope it is probably going to be best to cut the already opened edge off to straighten it out but if you were using a newly sealed one you can choose any side that you like to cut. You only need to cut a tiny amount off of the pocket to allow it to open. You can then place your template where you would like the window to be and then use a pencil to draw around it. This is going to be collaged so I'm not too worried about the pencil lines showing through but you can always rub them out afterwards if you don't want to be, them to be seen. I used a steel ruler and a craft knife to cut it out but a pair of scissors would do the job just fine. Here you can see that you'll be left with a pocket with a window hole on the front and the back. So we're going to make some things to go inside that. So we're going to make a large journal card and you want to make sure that this fits quite snugly inside the envelope. And that means that the picture that we're going to put on the front will line up with the windows that we've already organised. Clipping the corners with a corner rounding punch will help the journal card to slide into the envelope more easily. While decorating the front and back of the envelope border, I inserted a piece of scrap acetate to prevent making a mess everywhere and from accidentally sticking the back and front together. I started my decorating by adding a piece of broadery trim, knowing that I wanted to collage with scraps of paper on top of the plain area of the trim, so I put that down first. I cut the piece down to size by aligning it with the edge of the pocket and then I glued it into place using art glitter glue and trimmed off the overlap. I then proceeded to glue small scraps of book pages all around the frame. These scraps were taken from a book called Janet Marsh's Nature Diary, which I'd never heard of before but it contains lots of watercolour images and it's quite similar to the Edith Holden ones. And also there are annotations which are printed in her handwriting, which will be so attractive in projects like this. I wish I could make my handwriting look that neat and old fashioned. Whoops, sorry about that. That was just the school app giving me a notification about something or other. I'm going to leave this next bit in because I quite personally, I quite like watching collaging when people are doing it. So I've sped it up for you and I will just add a little piece of music over the top while it finishes. This picture is one that I think did come from the diary of the Edwardian lady. I rounded the corners of the image to go with the rounded corners of the journal card. I then inked the edges of it and the edges of the card as well to make sure that they coordinated and looked nice and vintage. I knew I needed the picture to be central to the card as I'd made the effort earlier to make the window as central as possible on the envelope. So fingers crossed they should line up nicely. I wanted lined paper on the reverse side of the journal card, so I made a piece that was the same size as the front image and glued it onto the back of the card. This writing will be visible from the other side of the pocket, which I thought was a nice interactive touch. 
The next thing that I needed to do was to collage on the back panel as well. So I just repeated the same steps as before and tore up lots of little pieces of book page and then pasted them on top of the frame. Adding ink to the inside of the window and to the outer edge of the envelope really brought the piece together and made it look more complete. I used a large circle punch to cut out a little notch from the open edge to make it easier to grab the journal card that's inside. I then cut two pieces of acetate that were the full size of the envelope to avoid the edges of them catching the journal card as it slides in. I used a strong double sided tape to hold the acetate in place. This acetate was taken from Cricut map packaging. I like it because it's super thin and lightweight so it doesn't add too much weight or bulk to the journal. It can be a bit fiddly to get these into place because you want to avoid the tape from sticking before it's in place. And please make sure that you don't stick one piece of acetate to the other. You make sure you get the tape facing the right edge. I wanted to make a little divider tab type thing to pull the journal card out of position. So I think I might have seen this a long time ago, but I can't for the life of me remember who was doing it. Um, but I, I'm using a large circle punch and leaving a gap to make a hinge. So it's, it's a semicircle, but not a semicircle. I then took a smaller punch and cut out two more little notches from the edge corners. <laughs> I don't feel like I've explained that very well at all, um, but maybe you can see what I'm doing here. And just cut out two little notches and then it makes a kind of whale tail type thing. So I popped that onto the edge. I was deciding whether to put that in the middle or like off to one side, but then I remembered that I'd put the thumb notch in the middle, so this had to go in there as well. So I lined that up, opened it out, and then glued down the visible sides. And then when they were glued shut, I was able to flip it over and glue that other bit that I've missed at the start. Off camera, I took the card up to my sewing machine and I stitched around the image and around the edge of the journal card as well. And that just finished it off and made it look a bit more put together. And then that slides in between the two pieces of acetate, which are firmly stuck down. And then there you have your pocket. Now the only thing left to do is to attach your pocket to your journal page. And I did this just by making a simple hinge out of a piece of scrap paper, which was also book paper, so it was, it was quite sturdy, but it wasn't quite what you'd call card. And I inked the edges of it so that it would coordinate and then folded it vertically down the middle. Then added plenty of glue and stuck one side to the inside of the envelope on the open edge and the other side to the back of the journal page so that it curved round. I made sure that that hinge was pressed down firmly and then I also weighed it down later on as well which I don't think I showed you on the camera. But you want to make sure that that's really well stuck so that it doesn't start peeling off or anything like that. So you can see here how the pocket works. I like that it opens on that um, the edge of the pages because that means that that little tab that we made is going to be poking out the side of the journal and just add a bit more interest to the far edge of the book. I learned that word today, far edge. That's what this non-spine edge is called. Just a little FYI for you there. Right, so that's the end anyway of this video today. Thank you very much for watching again. 
and I shall see you again for another tutorial in the future. Bye!